Hello everybody, welcome back to Techno Feed for today's random feed. Yay, yay. I'm your host Josh. And before we get started on today's random feed, please remember to hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell icon and turn to turn the notifications on as well as hit the like button down there so you, to give us support on this channel. Yes. <laughs> So let's get started on today's random feed with the first article here right in front of us. For Huawei's under display camera rumors gaining traction with new patent, this article is brought to you by Pocket Lint. And this is basically talking about Huawei's upcoming flagships, probably the P50 or the Mate 40, having in screen cameras not no punch holes this may be the death of the punch holes the notches and the pop-up cameras all in one by just putting the camera in the screen and Xiaomi and Oppo Huawei is one of Huawei's competitors a few of Huawei's competitors actually have already displayed it last year in 2019 but this time around they have cor- people have gained traction by seeing patterns as well as a brand new mock-up with of a supposedly p50 pro or it could be a mate with a full front glass with no notch does not appear to have a camera so which leads to believe that there is an in-screen camera in-screen camera that is under the display None of us have seen it yet other than in tech conventions such as CES. But now we may be actually looking at one. But then they're not the only ones. Xiaomi, Oppo, even Nokia for the Nokia 9.3 Pure View is also going ahead with probably having an in-screen camera also. So it is a race of the first. Who is going to be the first company to produce an in-screen camera, front-facing camera, in-screen front-facing camera phone? Who will it be? Who will it be? Will you be rooting for Huawei or will you be rooting for other brands? But one slight thing is Huawei will be releasing this on September. So we will not know until September. But then rumours, if the rumours are actually true, then we will actually get in-screen display phones. In camera, in the screen displays by September. Who knows? The tech, the world is going fast and Huawei is the lead of pushing innovation to the max. Right, so next up, a bit more disappointment for PlayStation 5 supporters or upcoming supporters, sadly. And we're going to continue from yesterday's one. But today, he has been announced at the PlayStation 5 event that has been scheduled for June 4th to show off Madden MFL 2020 on PlayStation 5 consoles has been cancelled. And he has been post PlayStation or Sony actually posted on the Twitter saying that we have decided to postpone the PlayStation Five event scheduled for June fourth. While we understand the gamers are worldwide excited to see PS Five games, we do not feel that there is the right time for celebration. And for now, we want to stand back and allow more important important voices to be heard. Now, this either two things: is it is really true, or is secondly is cause of concern that the console isn't ready yet and the fact that so it just so happens that there are riots going on in the US that Sony would decide that oh we can probably use that reason to say that our consoles aren't ready yet or it, the consoles are already ready but they really want to give the voices to those who have to be heard for those riots racial profiling but really Depends on which way you look at it. Are you a PlayStation fan? If you're a PlayStation fan, then of course you say, but then if you're not, you're just gonna say that it's just probably one way that Sony is covering up its so called failures or issues that they don't want to show. But then they'll still be going forward with 
the PlayStation 5 launch later this year, which is maybe a good sign. Maybe a good sign? Hmm. Right, this today's random feed is quite fast, eh? There's not much to really talk about on um new news, but coming up to the last one, the LG Gram 17 inch for this year for 2020 has get started getting reviews and launches already with their 17 inch 2K screen and with the mind blowingly and shockingly like 1.35 kilogram weight. 1.35 well, the original 15-inch came out 2015, probably 2016, was below a kilo, which has the gram one, yeah. But now the LG gram kind of steps back to more to one kilo, but it's 1.3, but it's still really light for a 17-inch laptop. And it does pack quite a decent punch too, with an i7 10th gen chip inside. Or you can go for an i5 if you are... A little bit on the budget side. But really, both of them are all the same. It has a all-metal chassis. And it that's why there's no fingerprint adhesions. So you won't get fingerprints stuck all over your new laptop. As well, they consider a reasonable keyboard for comfort. But not as clear of a screen as a Dell XPS 13 or a 15. That's one they say. But they do have some really good benchmarks though. For the PC, having 4,023 on PC Mark 10. Whilst the HP sector that was getting compared to got 4,375. Both running the same specs except for the amount of RAM and the storage. Which don't really, you know, make a bit that big of a diff. But they do make a slight difference. Another thing is about the graphics on the 10th gen chips are much better. So you got a score of 5. Actually, you know, 569 was for a Razer laptop. With a beefier graphics chip. Hmm. It's got more than 1000 last year. But a 569 for the gram is not that bad. Oh, how that 1250 for Firestrike, 4558 for Skydiver, and 6809 for Cloud Gig. Pretty decent results considering it's an integrated graphics. Price starts at about 2700 Sing dollars, which is quite a fair bit amount. Though it's an 80 watt hour battery, can last for more than 18 hours, which is always the mark of an LG Gram being. The most and the longest lasting battery life ever, the battery king. And the port selection are great. Yes, Thunderbolt 3 ports which can be used for having an eGPU. If you want to use this really for gaming or like a mobile portable gaming setup which is great for. Yes, a micro SD card slot. Yes, a fingerprint reader and a uh, network port which you seldom see now a network port which is only megabit internet it's only 100 megabytes instead of 1 gig which is quite bad yeah. but then they do have Wi-Fi 6 included so that's a big plus is they've jumped up to Wi-Fi 6 but really will there be sales for this laptop at two almost like 2000 Seven hundred dollars, which is a tremendous markup over last year's one, but for the price and for the specs you're getting, I guess it's all worth it. In the end, it's just a laptop, but it's a laptop that you're gonna use. It's gonna be lighter. It's gonna have seventeen inch display. It is a good laptop for its money. With that, guys, that wraps up today's random feed. It's kind of a bit short, but really, news is really short and tight. Like, there's not much left in it. Uh, tune in tomorrow, or should I say, select a wait for my upload tomorrow, where we'll be talking about, don't know what. <laughs> it depends on what news comes tomorrow. But hopefully, you hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell so that you get notified that when I make an upload every day, and uh, with that, everybody take care, stay safe, stay home, peace out.